Let's uh, call our meeting to order. If we could start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. He's hazardous here. I know. Almost always hit my head on that. Hazardous, very hazardous. Audience of citizens is next up. So just for the, for the audience of citizens, just so you know, um, so, um, cause I mean, you're welcome to come up with and speak about whatever you wanna speak about. But so, you know, we're not, we're not gonna, the off leash area, we're not gonna choose that to do anything with that tonight just so you know we're going to kind of carve that out and uh talk about the rest of the leash law and um we'll go from we'll talk about the other stuff later at a next future meeting but with that mary catherine come on up mary catherine larose 26 woodruff lane kensington connecticut with that being said I think you're putting the cart before the horse, or maybe it's you shut the barn door after the horse is left because you're going to pass a leash ordinance or you're going to pass a new leash ordinance because I believe we have one um, without carving out um, an off leash area for us. And that's going to be a nightmare, I believe, because as soon as you pass this, there's going to be a lot of problems with us trying to do what we've been doing again for almost 40 years at Bicentennial, which is just to walk our dogs in the big field off leash. And I'm just going to advocate again, if we could just carve out that field, I don't even want all of Bicentennial Park. It gives the people all those trails going around, never have to meet a dog off leash. And we could just have the big open field. People who want to walk in the field will see us and they'll know we're there, no surprises. If we could just do that, it would be, it would be everything. So thank you very much. Uh, anyone else? Okay, we'll end the audience of citizens. So, as that to that point, oh, what do we have? Approval of minutes first there. What do we got? So, we'll take a motion to approve our um, May 27th, 2021 meeting. Charlie, or Brendan, you want to do it? Oh, can't hear, can't hear you. Unmute, Brendan. I'll make a motion to accept the May 27th meeting minutes. All right. Thank you. Second. I second. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Okay. Old business. So to, to your point, Mary Catherine, um, so our attorney's here. So we're going to, that, that's the first question up is that, you know, I don't think we've, we haven't heard, <coughs> excuse me, we haven't heard any objections to our leash law in the rest of town, right? So I think we're all pretty comfortable with that from the public, I haven't heard anything and we know we need to strengthen it a little bit, but, um, and we just, they were having some other problems with some playing fields with dogs running loose on it as, as separate from, from the dog unleashed area. Um, so question really is, can we pass that with this carve out to be changed later possibly, or is it just too complicated and we can take the whole thing up later? You, you know what? I, I mean, we just were trying to move part of it forward, but if it's too cumbersome, we won't do it that way. So <laughs> if we wait a little bit longer, it's not going to, you know, if we waited this long. It's not going to really. So um, <laughs> in speaking with uh, the town manager, um, we did, <laughs> we did as I'm. Um... No water, of course. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It's all right. We'll get through it. I'll try not to choke to death. That's okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> oh, we're good. That's all right. I'm all right now, I think. So we did add an additional sentence at the end um, of a de designated public property. I don't know if all of you have reviewed that, no. um, but it does say again, and this is, this is in um, chapter three, the, anim the animals section of the ordinances. Um, in section uh, three-2, you have the definitions and we had previously 
proposed, um, and this was language that your prior town manager and I had come up with. And I don't, I don't know that we ever really got down to really discussing. What page um, is that on here? On on uh, page one, it starts on page one and continues on page two. But we added a sentence, Arush and I, um, that says this definition of designated public property shall be held to include all of the aforesaid public properties in their entirety until such time as the town council acts to permit with those conditions, limitations, and or restrictions it deems appropriate an off-leash area or areas or otherwise exempt the applicability of this chapter to one or more of the identified public properties. So that's allowing you to make you know, the decision to in fact designate um, an entire property that's listed or some portion of it to be an off leash area at some point in the future. Um, so that kind of signals that. But um, the other thing that we had spoken about as well, um, and I don't know if Aroshi want to speak to this, but um, we also were talking about whether or not we add a provision to delay the effectiveness of this. Um, that's another piece, you know, because obviously we want to do some new signage and, and all of that, right? And I know we talked about that previously. So if I may, Mr. Mayor, what I would propose is pick a date, March 30th, uh, April, not April 1st, that won't be a good day, April Fool's Day. Um, a day that this will go into effect because we'll have to put signage, we'll have to communicate this, we have to publish it. Uh, it's going to take time, right? So two options you can do to say this law, leash law goes into effect on this date, mm -hmm. and they'll give us X number of months to figure out where the leash free area is. And the council can work with ordinance committee and others to see if this is going to be bicentennial or is it going to be Pistol Creek, what have you. So, I mean, those are two options that you have, but I, I think I attach the letter from Parks and Rec Commission. Mm. Uh, it's in there too, that they would like us to move forward with the leash law mm. um, because there's too many things happening in town, putting folks at risk. And when we've been talking about the, this since 2008, so at some point we need to have closure on this and picking in dates into the future will allow us to do that and also find an area that might be um, suitable for, for dogs to be leash free. So, so the, the whole law would not, the whole ordinance would not be effective until that date? Yes. So why, why would we bother even voting on it now then? That's because, because I don't, it's not effective though. They just well, because the whole, the whole thing wouldn't be effective till whatever March, April, whatever we pick. Just so you get it off the plate. And yeah, it but it's not really over. getting it anywhere because then we still have the part about where is it going to be off a leash, right? So we really haven't done anything. Why don't I just wait till April or May, pick find find the final resting place for the off leash park, and then just vote it then and say it's effective now. So my one thought about the language that I drafted was that it allows you the flexibility um, to perhaps, um, because we sort of want to try to look forward on things, right? Um, so don't, we don't have to keep going back and changing. Mm -hmm. It allows you, I think, by the plain language of it, the flexibility that if you, if you do embark upon um, a particular property or a portion of a property being used for off leash, and you find that it really isn't workable and there are problems, it allows you the fl flexibility to to change that, or you know certainly put or put conditions um, that you're going to evaluate it. For example, in so many months, um, you know af after you you maybe you're going to evaluate it after three months or six months and see you know is it a good workable area. Um, so that's why I crafted it the way that I did. Um, but um, I do think it is important. I did did see um, the letter, the correspondence that came in from Parks and Recreation Commission. Um, and I, I don't know if all of you, because 
it, this just came in, but you do have the hard copy of it. And they are, that commission is strongly suggesting that the ordinance be modified uh, to eliminate allowance of animals um, at, altogether on Centarelli Field, Dennehy Field, Beretta Field, Percival Soccer Field, Pettit Complex, and Sage Park. So, um, right. you know. But, but again, I, I'm just, and maybe I'm sorry, it might mm -hmm. be a bad day today for me, but we're, I, I'm not understanding. So we're, we're gonna, so we, we vote this forward. We vote on the whole thing. All right, with the changes to the playing fields and whatever, not to be effective for six, three months, eight months, ten months, whatever. What what's the point? Why why bother? I mean, I, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. It's not. It's just like I just why even vote on it if we're still going to hold it open for eight months? I might as well just not vote on it and wait and just. We're, so we're not solving the problem, park and rec, because it's not going to be effective for eight months say or six whatever the well well let me well they're asking you to eliminate those those fields from being designated as okay to allow people to to be able to yeah ha have know, but, but dogs on a longer on lead right? and so on and so forth right well you are you are making a choice you're just cho you're choosing to delay the effective date of it to allow some other things to happen, such as the signage and so, so forth. Choosing to delay the fields I'm eliminating in it because it's I'm delaying the whole ordinance? Well, but what they're asking for are, are those fields to be eliminated altogether to have animals on there. That's, that's they want a prohibition. Well, they we don't, could, yeah. We could put that in there yeah. for the playing fields. That's fine. I, I, I mean, obviously that's good, but I, I still, <laughs> Whatever we do, however we change this tonight, it's not going to be effective till some future date because we haven't decided on the unleashed area, correct? Am I? Am I well, that's... We haven't. We haven't. I mean, no, we're not deciding the unleashed area tonight. I think that's a separate issue, though. You're not... No, you've no. indicated you're not deciding that. Right. Um, again, that, that language at the end of the that definition of designated public was or public properties rather, that allows you to at some future date designate again, an entire property that's listed or a portion of it as an of the statute is not in effect at all either, correct? Or no? Unless we choose a sooner date. And let, well, yeah. I mean, I, unless you do the standard 30 days then. I think yeah. we should move it forward to the council at the council set the date. It doesn't make any sense to me why we would do that. I, I just, it doesn't, it's not, yeah, but we're it not, makes no sense to me. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I'm I mean, maybe that. I'm missing the point, but we're going to vote on this. We, yeah. we haven't decided the one, you know, issue that we need to decide. Right. And we're going to pass it to the council who's going to vote and say, all right, we will, we delay the whole law for eight months or a piece of the law or part of the law or the whole law, right? Won't be voted in. All law, the athletic feel issue it's already in place okay so that th there's no that's no, but a I mean, deal but no it's in place but 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 the whole it, it's part of the ordinance so that wouldn't be in place either i mean the wording is here i understand you're telling me the wording is the, in here you would take out yeah. you would take out those fields the naming of those fields that says okay. on the property because right now the we're, we're gonna, yeah. not supposed to be having animals on those oh fields. yeah i get that and we're, we're i mean the, the I mean, those wouldn't be chosen as the yeah. anyway. Sorry, go ahead. I still understand if the council has the authority to make open space decisions or that come under the conservation commission. Has that ever been straightened out? So that so that was another issue, right? The, uh, um, the speaker um, she mentioned Bicentennial Park. My recollection is you did did have input from conservation commission. We did uh, that. That was an inappropriate designation. They Correct. were against. They were against the meadow being used or a portion of the meadow being used for off leash. Yes. My question is, did the council have the authority to overrule their decision? Um, not, not for properties that are within their jurisdiction. And I think the determination had been made. I don't have my full file. The determination so that, had been made that those are under the conservation. Was under their, yeah. Yeah. So if I may. Yes, please. I like to move things along. Why I why I would like this to get voted on today, go to the council, yeah. is there's a sunset provision on this. 
Right. Otherwise, in next March, you're going to have the same conversation like we have had. Sorry to say this since 2008. So this will allow, it'll force us to designate and find an area by March 31st or whatever the- Unless we vote to change it, right? Unless you Unless vote- we decide that we didn't get it done by the sunset provision, what happens then? Well, it, then automatically everything becomes, comes under the leash law. So there's no changing it? No, the law goes into effect. If we pick the date. If we pick the date. Automatically, this will force want, everyone. I don't to... want to pick the date. Why not? I don't, I don't. I don't want to pick March first, and then we're not ready, and then now we're. What, what are we going to have to go back and do the whole ordinance over again? We will be ready. Maybe we said that a year ago, and then two years ago, COVID hit. So you know, that's that's you know, God, I don't. Know, maybe the meteors coming next. I, I have was, no idea. But I'm sorry, I thought it was pretty much agreed. It, the problem's twofold. Number one. We owe the citizens safety and, yes. and right to their Agreed. own property. People Agreed. are being attacked in their own backyards. Agreed. So the, my impression was the main function of this ordinance was to give the town authority to stop that. Correct. Second problem was where to let people not leash the dogs. And I thought it was a twofold problem. And I think we should move forward with part A, have an enforceable lease law keep them off the playing fields, keep uh, neighborhoods safe. And the Conservation Commission has to agree from what I'm hearing for us to give open space. We don't have that authority anyway. So, so I, what will happen is so, okay, so let I agree with you because uh, I would I would like to pass <laughs> the leash law that applies to the rest of town as well as the playing fields, okay? the off leash park is undetermined at the moment. So are we gonna say in here, and, and to your point of authority, so are we gonna leave it that right now it stays at Bicentennial or we're just gonna say, where does it go? If we, if we, I, cause to me- It's worded to be determined later if I'm understanding correct. Well, but that's the whole, we're talking about the whole statute to be determined later. We're giving it a sunset provision. Let's say, Mar let's just pick March 1st, okay? So when we get it to the council next Tuesday, we're going to vote on it and say in March 1st, this whole thing becomes effective, all right? The whole law. Okay. So I, I want the whole law effective like tomorrow, other than the, the lease, the, the dog park. So I don't know how we can carve that out. If, well, if there's no just, way to carve it out, make it effective whenever we want and say we could, uh, but, but, but it's still not, it's still not, in other words, are, by March other areas to be determined. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, you know, as a lawyer too, I'm trying to figure it out because I, like I say, I, I think I agree with you that the, there's no controversy. No one's upset. We, we have to protect the citizens. So the leash and, law. And the town liability. If we don't do all something. That, all of that, of course. Law. So all of that, I'd want to pass Tuesday night, quite frankly. However, I just don't know how to leave Bicentennial. We just leave it in there, uh, which will create a problem. We take it out of there or no? So how do we deal with Bicentennial Park then? The, the off-leash area that cur we currently have that we're trying to find another spot, which we just haven't done it in time. I, 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 that's what I, I think we need to leave it in there and we can always change it later. If we find out we don't have the authority or it's not working we out. We could well. do that if that's what we think is the we best do something. I, mean, I, I don't, you know. I've been on a council 10 years. But how do we go this. back? How would we go back from we pass this, we leave Bicentennial in there for now. Well, well, what happens then? But you're saying leave Bicentennial in there. Yes. If you if you look at the language again, it's under designated public property means public property on which animals can, can be on a leash or lead that is 10 feet in length. So it's, it's giving the ability for people to have it on a, a, an animal on a longer leash. It's not saying that they can be unleashed. So I want to take that out of there for Bicentennial Park. And, and that's why we added the sentence at the end that you can subsequently determine to use one of the properties or a portion of them. Um, but, the, but that means it's taken out of leash. here now if we vote on it. I'm sorry? But that, so let's say we vote on this. Uh, the council votes Tuesday with all this language. Bicentennial now is on a leash as well. No, I don't want that. So that's the problem I'm having with it. You don't, you, you don't want by all the other fields, everything's great, but until we find an off-leash park, I'm not taking Bicentennial off 
I'm not putting leashes on dogs on Bicentennial Park. I don't, that's not the point of what we've been trying to get done. Okay. So under the, under this law and the, the new proposed changes and the old dogs at Bicentennial are supposed to be leashed. Then I guess we can't pass this law now until we find another spot. If, if it's not Bicentennial, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know where it's going to be, but we are trying to find another location. We looked at Pistol Creek. We looked at different places. We haven't finished it. Granted, you know, it's a lot of things that aren't finished, but, um, you know, COVID did, did not help. Other problems didn't help, but uh, that's not, that's not the purpose. If somehow we take Bicentennial and leave it off leash, so here's my question. If we take Bicentennial out of this paragraph and make that the only off leash place in the town right now and pass this whole ordinance. How do we go back and fix that when we find a new spot in April? We can't do an amendment to the ordinance, right? Can we, we amend it? Yeah. I, but I also, again, the, the I'm sorry, the, la the language that I put in um, was meant to allow that flexibility to change it because it, you know, I, but, but it yeah. so, to, so Tuesday night, if we pass it with your language immediately bicentennial, you need a leash. You need a leash now at Bicentennial. I know, but we, we've <laughs> so, been. so if your intention is in fact to allow, allow it. people to be, well, I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'll well, see that's, um, but, but that's, but that's the problem I'm having. I, I, I think what you're saying then is to allow off leash and Bicentennial. And that's really the change you want to see in the language for now till we find another spot well, then that's a choice can you do that since it's under the conservation commission well you know that, that's another that, question. that's you know designating the meadow area as a dog park area i think is something different i mean Not or, dog park but off leash oh. right i mean i know we call it the dog park but off leash huh? i wouldn't call it the dog park i'll call it off leash area. no i have a, an arm's length long list of conditions for a dog park Oh, yeah, and we and we, I, I that think, are just sort of the best practices of dog parks, yeah. if you will. Yeah. I mean, I think we'll get there, but I just don't um, do you know how to get there. You got to do something. No, we don't. That's the federal government. <laughs> People have to live here. We've gone this far. I I, I get it. I, I want to protect. We got to protect the rest of the town. I understand. Then uh, the only the only answer I can hear then with all our discussion and Brendan, please chime in. Uh, the the only answer then is to take bicentennial out of the mix and say that is the unleash area for now. Uh, uh, you know until subsequently we come back and amend the ordinance to to change it to another place if if we do. I mean I don't really like that. But if that gets us to protect the rest of the town and the other playing fields, then, yeah. you know, immediately. Yeah. So to me, to yeah. sunset it, I, I don't really. Uh, so we, we didn't do any. We still didn't do anything. I mean, I know we have a date sometime in the future. That's great. But it's still not protecting anybody on, on you know, October 20th, the day after the town council meeting. The town still is not protected. It's correct. going to take 30 days to publish and do all those okay, things. So, no so November 20th, it, the town is, is still is still uh, not protected because the sunset we're going to put out further, I thought. I thought we were talking about March 1st, right? So between now and March 1st, let's say we passed it tonight. Let's say we're the council. We passed it tonight, the whole thing. Yep. Sunset it April 1st. That's, well, we don't, I know we don't do April 1st, but whatever, April 30th. So between now and April 30th, this is not in effect, correct? That's an option. That's yeah, the second okay. option we gave you. First one is what's is. in here. It is in effect, but what happens to the bicentennial? We have to amend it. The amendments would not be in effect. That's that would be the language you would use. If right. you wanted to put it off, you would you would indicate in that section that you add yeah. that the amendments would not be effective until such and such a date. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess. I mean, I want to amend, I, I would certainly want, I mean, there's only one park I'm concerned with, right? Uh, to, to, to leave alone. You want to, you want to, you, well, yeah. I want, I want to include the playing fields, of course. You know, I don't want the dogs on the playing. I mean, that's uh, obviously. That's in, that's in section 13. I know. 13. So, I mean, all, everything's, so we would eliminate everything's that. fine, but one name that's in there, right? Bicentennial Park for now, until we can figure out a solution and, 
by God, I'm determined to figure out a solution. I'm going to figure out a solution. If I'm still here after the next election, it's going to get straightened out because I, I want to fix it. I'm going to fix it. But I, I will, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm so determined to fix it. We're going to get it right. But in the meantime, I'm just not sure, you know, what the best way is to protect the town immediately. To me, by sunsetting it three months from now, six months from now, we, we really haven't accomplished anything because we've, if we leave the language as is, then the Pistol Creek, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Bicentennial becomes an on-leash area. That's not what I'm trying to accomplish. I want it to remain off-leash until we come up with a suitable solution, different location, whatever. Right remaining, now, remaining off leash is a misnomer because it's not off leash, not off -leash right regardless now. of how people are using it. No, I get it, but uh, but but uh, so again, we pass an ordinance again that we don't we don't enforce. That's probably not a good. Well, all, all ordinances have to be enforced with some common sense. I mean, Agreed. I mean, you're not going to chase a guy with his dog in the middle of nowhere yeah. and give him a ticket. I, mean, it, I agree. But if someone's uh, not being considerate or endangering somebody. This gives the town the authority to stop it. We have it now, That's though, correct? Uh, By Centennial Park, we have it now. If well, they're, they're supposed to be on a leash. Fight somebody. Yes. Yes. What's the point? What's the point? There's no difference. But the rest of the town is then not protected. protected. Okay. That's more my concern than- I am park. with you. I am with you. I haven't heard- agree, I've heard Charlie. Complaining in the park, but I haven't heard of any incident of anyone hurt. But in people's backyards, I've heard of people being- So why don't we just take the language off and say the only unleashed area is Bicentennial Park until until so amended by, by the ordinance committee. So uh, the that, that's a somewhat big change to, to what you have here, I think. I think I am, I'm just a little bit concerned about the public notice aspect of that. Okay. I think that if, if you're going to make that decision, then I think it needs to, again, go through- the, the commissions need to be made aware of that, um, as well as uh, the, the commissions public. have made their positions clear. Yeah. If, right. if we move forward and there's something they're upset with, I think they'll come to the council when we hear it. We'll have a hearing about this ordinance. And it, it's easy for people to do nothing. It, it's time we did something, I think. You know, move forward with it. Okay. You know, change your mind. Government does it all the so, time. So, so take out Bicentennial Park then, and then we go. Then we're fine. Well, it's more than just taking it out. I think you you have to designate it as uh, because of the nature of the language. I would designate it as an off leash. Which is area. required everywhere, but Bicentennial Park. But aren't we also talking just about a portion of Bicentennial Park? Because Bicentennial That's incorporates yeah. a lot more land than just the field. It would be, it would be, it would be the, 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 the meadow area. I don't know what we call that area, but whatever we define it as, we would just, it would be just that area in Bicentennial. And, you know, and then if it's a, a mistake or a big upset to the commissions, I'm sure they'll come and tell us. We'd be glad to hear from No, I, I, I'm, yeah. But to keep doing nothing isn't solving any problem. Agreed. Uh, agreed. So I would take it off, take it out for now. With with the understanding, we are going to have to revisit it. We do have a problem with with authority. We we do have an issue with the authority of the conservation commission. There's definitely a problem there, which is one of the reasons why we are trying to move it somewhere else. But to protect the rest of the town, 100%, and the rest of the playing fields, of course. There's no there's no issue with the rest of the town. Everybody wants it. We all want it. It's the liability. It's the right thing to do, 100%, no question. We have one little issue we're trying to deal with, which can be dealt with as we move forward. It's an important issue, but it's been the stumbling stone for the last couple of years. Correct, uh, no doubt, no doubt. Yep. So we haven't gotten it done. I mean, you know, and get it done. Try something, even if it's wrong, we'll find out. Well, then, then I would try something. I would, I would just carve that out as unleash, unleash area, temporarily or is, whatever. However, is there a way to legally like, describe that portion of the park, and describe that portion of the park so it's clear, or as marked. Maybe we could put up a few signs in the area. The open too. meadow, open meadow as, yeah. Yeah. as marked by signs or something. People know where the where it is. 
It'll help. I'll buy the signs at this point. Let me think. Will that work? I think we can pass that subject to, we need to confirm if you can actually do that by right. the council. Okay. Because it's up to the Conservation Commission. I right. own that. Okay. So. They'll tell us, don't worry. Yeah. But well, I, I'm, all, I'm yeah. with the council of. What's that, Brendan? I said, haven't they already told us? Yes, they have. Okay. Okay. But I think if we can move it forward with excluding that, we, we can follow up on that and bring it back to the full council. But like, like uh, Council of Prentice has said, I am more concerned about the rest of the town Correct. running amok yeah. for how many years without a leash law. So right. I think it's time we put that. If too many things happening, they're coming yeah. this close to very recently we had a situation where three residents were attacked and we are going through a situation where the, there's a, we had to um, uh, put a dog to sleep actually as a result of what's happening. Not be us, but it's a, the requirement. No, I agree. I, I mean, no, there's no question yeah. as to that. So, so it's back to my original point. This should be effective immediately or, you know, within takes, the notice period. 30 days to oh, I know, post I know and do notice. all those things. Yeah, and put I, signs I, I get all that. Yep. But, but, um, uh, thank you, Z. Yeah, whatever the legal period is to, to run is fine, you know. I get it. I get everything. Um, you know, I mean, that's yeah. what I because it's a, a sunset piece on it for the whole thing for thank you. six months. Thanks, Z. You're the best. We'll try not to stay here too late. Light speed would be 60 days before it went into effect, right? Yeah, you had to post it and a water a public drop. notification, all of that needs to take place right but that's still that's still 60 days and that's still not long enough for the yeah it'll go through the process town clerk has to post okay. it okay but we can move it to the council okay but object we're, still, to, we're still not wanting to do what i'm saying we can't cut out bicentennial park i i'm just checking the minutes of the conservation commission because i thought that there was a set of minutes that was distributed. So is the whole ordinance bad if that we do that and we decide determine that we can't say that temporarily? Always amend the ordinance. And this is a proposal that gives it to council. The council yeah. is going to rewrite some of it. Yeah. It's a starting point. I think we move it to the council between now and Tuesday. We can do some research and present it. And if it's if it's a no go. No go, but at least we move it to the council. Okay. What do we think? So ju just again, this is for record purposes as well, in terms of what, what I'm hearing you're inclined to do, I wanna make sure we have a clear record of what the direction is to the town manager and myself in terms of making amendments to the proposal that you have in front of you. So um, what you're inclined to do is eliminate, again, from section three is the section, the amendment to designated public properties, that definition, you want to eliminate from there um, all of the playing fields, correct? Um, that are mentioned in the letter that you received from the Parks and Recreation Commission. So that would encompass the removal of Centerelli Field, Dennehy Field, um, Percival Park with Beretta Field, Percival Soccer Field, and Percival Pool, um, Edit Complex, and mm -hmm. Sage Park. 
So that would get, again, removed from that proposed amendment um, in introducing that new term of designated public property to definition section 3-2. Um, and then you are, you do you or do you not want to keep that last sentence that has been added of that starts this mm -hmm. definition of designated public property shall be held to include all. And then I have another item as well. I want to just sorry, you're going to remove that dogs are not allowed on the playground. I'm sorry, that's in section that's actually in section 13. Right. Um, so you want to look at section 13 dash two. So section 13 dash two or 32 rather. Um, this is on page five of section yeah, 13, the separate. So it says dogs are not allowed on playing fields, playgrounds, golf courses, tracks, or outdoor courts. So um, what we would do is, is uh, include the proposed language. See where it says replace highlighted section above with the following. Yeah. We would replace Mayor that section. Sorry. Page five, Mayor, Page five. of Page chapter five. 13. Two documents there, one is chapter three, one is chapter three. Is there any exclusion for service dogs in these field areas? So um, service, service dogs, uh, there are other portions of the law that allow people to have a service dog accompanying them. So in a, in a service animal, you know, they have to have a special certification oh, yeah. and all but of that. So, yeah. Someone needed a seeing eye dog, they'd be allowed to. Yes. Okay. Because I think that there are other laws that would preempt. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the the other question that I have, and and this is sort of important too, and we haven't talked about it at all, but I did reduce. Remember, you received a lot of input initially, looking uh, for an increase in the lead um, on uh, these again these designated public properties. Um, and it had originally been proposed to be 20 feet, but at your last meeting in May, you received quite a bit of comment about uh, really the inappropriateness of that. So I did reduce that. I wanted to just draw your attention to that. That is a revision that I made. I reduced it from 20 feet uh, to 10 feet. So it says uh, in both the at, at large section and the designated public property section, as well as in the revision to uh, section 13-32 and chapter 13, um, we, we are allowing a leash or lead um, of seven feet in length or less on school and other non-designated public properties. Um, or and, and I think we should probably add an exception in there um, with regard to playing fields, playgrounds, golf courses, track and outdoor courts, so that it's consist consistent with section 13-32 as I'm looking at it. Um, and then it says, or on a leash or lead of 10 feet in length or less on designated public property. So again, I don't know, maybe you wanna just have amongst the three of you a quick discussion about, are you satisfied with those numbers, seven feet in length on school, or other non-designated, excluding of again those areas mentioned in 13-32, and then uh, satisfied with 10 feet on the properties that you're designating. I think I don't know what you guys what do you think. I, I think that's fine. Uh, I think that's fine. All right. Yeah, that's fine. So, and then the last thing, of course, is you are directing us to make a change to add bicentennial to be off leash. And the portion, portion that you've, well, the portion that you've designated as the meadow. So that would be an additional change that we would make. Can we say temporarily? Well, that was that, that was one thing I was going to say to you. What you could do with that, as I indicated before, I mean, you could choose that to be a, a you know a three three month. Because look, you know, I think any change you make with regard to that, 
um, it, you, sh you should be limiting the time on that to, because you want to study and assess, is it suitable? Um, because it will very likely lead to a change in, in the way that it's being used by, and we have this discussion by residents and non-residents, because you know that certain of your parks do, do draw a lot of non-residents as well. So. So we want to, so what, what, what would we say with that? We, we would give a, a time frame for that piece. I would recommend that. I think that's something that does make sense. Um, the other aspect of it too, um, I don't know like if you do want to incorporate, I know it's not going to be a dog park, but I don't know if maybe you want to incorporate some of the rules that we see, um, our dog park rules too, on some of your signage. So I could share that information again uh, mm -hmm. with regard to that. And that's, and that's something that doesn't have to be in the ordinance. That's, you know, that's something that you know, because there are some, there are certain safety rules that you may want to have posted. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. It's fine. I think that it's complicated enough. If we put in a temporary with a date and all, let's present it to the council like this. Let's see who shows up from Conservation Commission and their objections. Maybe they'll have some logical idea um, and put it in place. And six months from now, if it's not working, we can always change it. Put it in place with uh, Bicentennial Meadow excluded. Yeah. Right, from, excluded from leash. So are, you, right, so are you inclined to kind of give a study period? So a uh, three to six month no, period? I've where, been studying it for 10 years that I've been on a council. Where you're allowing it to be off leash for a period, period. as opposed to Meadow. with no limitation on time. Change is hard. Once it starts, it's going to be real hard to change. Like now it's already there. It's real hard to change. But. So we're not going to do that. I'm fine with it either way because I don't think anybody will pay attention to it anyway. I would I would leave that piece with the with the study period. Okay. okay. Three months or six months. Six. Okay. So it would be taken out of the designated property, right? Which means the ones that, that it has to be on a leash, correct? This is a question for Jennifer. What happens in six months? We we still haven't studied and made a decision. You can, you can extend it. You can terminate it. You know, you have choices with regard to that. Are you okay with that, Brendan? I'm fine. Yeah, that's good. As long as we, we define that area, right? That'll be defined as the meadow. It's perfect. And I get it. It gives us some pressure to get something done one way or the other. I, I you know, I get it. I just don't want to. I, I think that's the best way to do it. That's my opinion. But I think I can convince my other two uh, members here. If hopefully, that's... your legal training getting away. <laughs> Legal training, common sense, you know, a lot, lot of. And I'm an engineer, so we have different styles. A lot, a lot, a lot of things come into play. I'm trying to solve a problem the best I can. It's not difficult. It's not easy, but nor are most problems we have in town. But some are easier than others. But trying to do the best we can. So, I have the. I understand what's up. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Good. Know, Right, we're all good. Okay, thank we're you. I, thank you all for indulging this discussion. I, I, I thought it was important to have so we can send that forward and protect the, the town and, uh, and then just finish up with that last study, which, which is good because it gets most of the ordinance passed, which is what we need to do. And it protects not only our, you know, residential areas, but it protects the uh, playing fields and the other public fields that we don't want. Uh, unleashed animals to be on right and we're and we have satisfied right park and rec to be happy so, so good. <laughs> i want to thank our citizens for her years of patience and input yes i everyone you know on e time. either side of this one particular issue it, you know it's we've been talking about it we haven't solved it yet and my apologies for that we're trying we're going to get it solved i'm determined to get it solved all right so we're good right we'll just send that forward with okay thank you all
Thanks. Do you want to move to new business? Yes. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. This should be easy, I hope, but uh, you never know. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't take 12 years past this one. Um, so the, 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 under new business section 16-15, exemption from personal property taxation of vehicles for the handicapped. So this came from the town's assessor. And this section here is pretty much talks about vehicles which have been specifically equipped or modified for the exclusive purpose of transporting handicapped or medically incapacitated persons, except when such vehicles is used to transport persons for payment. So these are individual residents who have these vehicles. And what, ha what happens right now is they have to come back to each year to get the exemption. And what he's recommending is if you come and get it once, that's good as long as you live in Berlin, because really these people have difficult time as it is to getting around and it's probably unfair to ask them to come each year to get it done. And just, we have one or two, not many happening, but a lot of times they forget and then they have to go to the Board of Appeals and it's a hassle. And I think it's a nice thing to do for our residents to remove the annual requirement and just to do it once and then that will um, uh, make them exempt from paying taxes. I agree with that. That's fine. Yeah. No, that's good. All right. So we move this also to the council. That was way too Please. easy. Please. Please. Do it. Can I just take a look at the statute just so that you're aware? I did look at the statute to make sure there was no limitation um, on you know the actual procedure that you're using. And there was no language that was of concern. So it's fine. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, the next item is a town of Berlin flag policy. Um, at a past council meeting, there was a um, request for us to look at a flag policy because we didn't have one. And um, we thought it's good to have a policy rather than the council deciding each time there was a request. So I reached out to uh, Corporation Council and some of the other towns have been working on a policy that, that's attached here. Uh, you probably had a chance to look at it. And um, it's pretty much uh, for all town property owned by the town of Berlin. And the language here has, has three criteria. Uh, EOW, MIA flags, official service flags of the armed forces of the United States of America or an official flag uh, sign or service and entire military unit recognition of the unit service to the state of Connecticut or United States of America. So those are the three, uh, of course, in addition to the United States flag and the state flag. What do you think, Charles? I'm sorry, I, I didn't- Do you have that? Yeah, that's right. I have it. I just haven't found it yet. In the back, it's so one of almost the, the last, the second to last page. Yeah. Shoot. Brendan, you see that? Yeah, I do. I was just finished reading it again. It's uh, it's good. Yeah. I, I don't see a problem with it. No, I think so. I mean, uh, I I know we have different uh, events that people want to advertise. Uh, um, I mean, they're right, welcome to do it on private property, wherever, I don't know, and, and if there's anywhere else, then these, because these are just town flag poles, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. right. Unknown property. I think this is good. I, I you know, the other uh, groups are just divisive and it separates people. This is people that serve the government and the government. That's what the government should be worried about. We did reach out last year to a couple of other towns yeah. uh, and they had the same position that if you want to celebrate something different, yeah. we encourage you to do that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Private property. Right. But they felt that the town should not um, fly different flags other than what's designated in a policy. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I agree because, you know, whatever your thoughts are of whatever people want to put on a flag, it, it, it someone is harmed by it or hurt by it or doesn't agree with it, right? That's the that's the problem I think you face. Yeah, and I, I think all, all these flags mentioned are the guarantee of those people to go fly any flag they want at their home or business. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Yeah, they represent everybody. Right. Yeah, no, it, uh, I think that's the way it needs to be. And, and would this also mean um, that we're just talking about town-owned property on a flagpole or posted on near a town building or town property? Or I'm just, as I, you know, there, there were some flags on uh, different town properties last time, not on a flagpole, but nonetheless, was the, on other town property, right? The way it's written, it says may flown on any properties owned or maintained by the oh. town of Bowling. Okay. So right. it can mean stuck in the ground flagpole. I yeah. assume, right? I do a branch or anything. I do a branch on a tree, whatever. I assume it means that. Are we sure? <laughs> it does, right? Just to be, you know, crystal clear because I, you know, I did see it somewhere last time, which, you know, I thought we didn't allow it. I mean, we, we didn't have a policy then. So I'm just going to make sure if we do the policy. Could change it from flown to displayed. Maybe. Yeah. So, so well, if I, if I, I have a flag on my own property. On your, on your what? On a pole. On your, on... Not on a pole in the ground. It's right. Oh. I mean, I, I think it may be flown. A flag is flown. Okay. I don't, I displayed flown, but, you know, I think it's, I think it's actually flown. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. All right, flown problems. I, I guess maybe what you're getting at is you're getting at, like, something like, like we talked about, this prohibition from getting out, like, getting a banner, mm. uh, sign, mm -hmm. you know, that are, that are, uh, you know, attached to a building, um, right. you know, maybe off a right. windowsill or something. Which, like which could be a flag. Is that what you're concerned about? Well, yeah. You well, know, on town you, buildings. You can change it to maybe flown or, or displayed. You know, uh, you we should add. Pulled, yeah. That's fine. I, I think the sport. That's what you were Yeah. That's what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Let's so let's say. Uh, Don't worry about the non pole Right. Okay. Right. If somebody drapes it over yep. a town sign. Good point. We should add it. Right. Okay. Or no ambiguity. Flight. Covers whatever. Right? Makes right. sense. Yeah. Check it. Again, it's coming to the council. Yeah. Yeah. We could talk about it some more. So that's fine. I mean, it's a difficult, you know, it's just a difficult issue, but. I, once we start, I think, once we go down that road, I don't care what the meeting. issue is. I'm sorry, John. Let's be on the agenda for the last meeting. Next one, huh? Should, and try to get it in. That'll be exciting. It won't be. That'll be exciting. You want to wait? Well, I'll look forward to it. <laughs> Maybe we could wait. I don't know. All right. According to Kate, the deadline is passed now. You know, Definitely. Get the agenda in. It's on oh, it's passed already? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Right. Well, if it's not on there, it's not on there. We could do it next time. Yeah. Or somebody could do it next time, or whoever's here next time can do it. You do want to get the least thing there, though. But it's crossed my mind, but we could just do that. We could just do it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. Figure it out. Okay. And what, so, what's the final? What do you, uh, so, I think you're in agreement that, that we should adopt this as a town policy. Yes. For the record. Yes. We will add, and recommend to the council. Yes. For discussion, right? For discussion. For discussion and approval. <laughs> and action. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, and then the last one is the uh, creating the public disturbance. It's not creating. So there was a request from a resident uh, to create a, a noise ordinance. And I reached out to the Berlin PD and we did some, you know, three year look back and 
it pretty much said this is a non-issue in this town. They get maybe two to three calls a month, and most of them, uh, by the time they get there, it, there's no noise. So there's sound or music coming from a celebration. Or when they go there, they move the party inside, and it's quiet after that. There was some um, music, loud music coming very, not, not very often, uh, in parking lots where cars were parked in Burger King, McDonald's, Taco Bell, places like that. And they also, you know, half the time, by the time the PD gets there, they're moved on. It's uh, people are driving through, right? Yeah. right? So what um, uh, the chief suggested, and then I checked with the uh, corporation council, it, it is complex. I'll maybe have uh, Jennifer talk a little bit more about uh, managing a noise ordinance and enforcement is a little problematic. Um, so they, there's already a Connecticut general statute creating a public disturbance, which is an infraction. And the PD has given two of them in the last three years. Um, so it, it gives them some flexibility and you can give a warning to someone and it says a repeat offender, you can write this infraction. So it, it appears that it's not a big issue here in this town, it doesn't happen that often. Right. And then um, this is our recommendation. And Jennifer, you want to say something sure. about? Sure. So noise is actually something I know quite a bit about. Um, I've revised noise ordinances through the years. Um, and I actually had to testify in a noise case that was brought by a group of North Haven residents against um, a business on Universal Drive. Um, and uh, the cause of uh, a low decibel hum in the middle of the night um, was uh, um, a machine at the top of a building. Um, and uh, it was a very, very educated, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about um, state enforcement of noise. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it was, uh, yeah, I was maybe more than I really needed to know, right? Um, but uh, the way that sound is measured is through a sound level meter. And uh, some towns have them, some towns don't. Um, and, uh, you know, they have to stay properly calibrated and um, it, I will say this, in my opinion, based on my experience with it, you do need an expert, you know, you need a sound level expert, um, because the, the sound level meters, um, like anything else, uh, they vary in terms of their accuracy. Um, and, and so you're, you know, some, some of the municipal ones that are out there um, are accurate. Um, in terms of measuring sound, and some of them are less so. Obviously, the more expensive ones, of course, are more accurate. But, um, you know, you so infrequently have those circumstances where it truly is an issue. And, and you know, I don't disagree with the PD's perspective of, you know, if you're talking about a, a loud party, um, then certainly, yeah, it gets, it, 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 it could get enforced you know, through this statute, um, which is essentially a breach of peace, you know, statute. And it sounds like you don't have the type of issue um, that I ended up justify a case about. I mean, it's, a, it, you know, the, the talking about somebody playing a loud radio or even um, sometimes vehicle noise, that that's something especially during the summer months with with motorcycles and you know depending on how they're fitted out or whatnot um that's something i hear a lot about in some communities as well but uh yeah i would i would recommend given again the research that was done the adoption of of the ordinance because then 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 to enforce it your folks are going to have to go through training you're going to have to acquire a meter um and you know, oftentimes it, 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 you get background noise and that's, that is part of the issue with really taking accurate measurements. You really have to know what you're doing. And, you know, it's one thing if you were telling me, um, you know, we have people complaining about, they can't sleep, right? Um, 
because uh, you know you've got businesses or whatnot that are operating in the middle of the night and they're creating a noise disturbance. Um, you know, then maybe you want to be considering something, but not based upon these facts. I wouldn't say that it would be necessary. Mr. Mayor, so we're not asking at this point, this is already in place. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying is that we don't, we're not recommending a noise ordinance at this point. I want to do one. Okay. We have, we have this in place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Good. We good. Yes. I'm All right. Good. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. That's it. How comes your favorite part? Enough. Adjournment. So moved. Second. Okay. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. So so adjourned. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. Thank See ya. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. All right.